G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little flip cup for you. It's gonna be a push and pull. Uh, I have done these before on my YouTube channel, so you can go back and look for them or just search push and pull, um, pour. Hopefully it'll, <laughs> it'll come up. So I'm gonna layer my paints in the cup um, and I'm using the Bloom recipe for the pouring medium and the pillow and the cell activator so everything's the same as my previous videos have been the pillow is just uh, white interior wall paint and i'm not going to do a very thick layer i'm just going to actually spread it out I still keep it relatively thick but not as thick as i would normally have it and I'm going to spread it out I have not done this before this is my first attempt at this so I have no idea if it's going to work so I don't want this pillow to be too thick because I want my cell activator to do its job and kind of get pulled over the top of the colours because I won't be blowing it or swiping it. Well, I'm not planning on doing it. <laughs> if this doesn't work, then yeah, I probably have to do something to save the painting, but we'll see what happens. So that's just the white wall interior paint. Um, now, my little cup, I'm going to layer that. So I'm going to use the cell activator, which is um, Amsterdam white and some Liquitex white ink and then there's Floetrol and um, some glue as well. So I'll put a little bit in the bottom and then let's start layering. I guess I can do it the same way as I do my little flip cups. Hey. I don't know how much to use. I have no idea how much paint to use. I'll just do a layer. So these are Jo Sonia's paints that I'm using. It's, they're quite a liquidy paint. Uh, so they are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part Jo Sonia's. I might as well use that up. And I can move on to something else. Is Bloom paintings are a bit frustrating. <laughs> I can't say I'm enjoying doing them. Okay, some purple. Now the purple, I've just made um, blue and magenta. Aquamarine blue and magenta to make my purple. The green here is green light. Let's put some of that on. I'll well finish that off as well. So I've been using these paints. I've done a few pours today with this technique. Uh, I've scraped them all except one that I did the video on, the rainbow swipe. <laughs> I've kept that one. The rest of them have all gone skis. And I'm going to move on to some flip cups and things like that because that's what I enjoy doing. I just wanted to try these because everyone else is doing them. And I have spent a lot of money on buying everything, but... I mean, I still will, I guess, continue to experiment, but I just find experimenting is not all that enjoyable. I prefer just to do a really pretty painting. Um, I did take the course, but um, I think a lot of people assume just because they take the course they can do it, but it's, it seems to be different for everybody in different countries, which is a bit of a shame. It'd be nice if... You know, you paid your money and it would work regardless of where you were, like a recipe for different countries, I guess, would have been nice. But that's just me. That's, probably, that's what I would have done if I was doing it. I would have made sure that everyone sort of worldwide would be able to, to use the recipe. Um, but yeah, it just takes practice, I guess. Flip that over. Woohoo! <laughs> so I've got my pillow, I've got my cell activator. I'm going to put some more of the cell activator around there because I want to like 
push the cup and then flip it over so hopefully that white will drag over the top I don't know if it's going to work because this is a different consistency to what I would normally use for a flip cup pour uh, there's no silicone in here but let's just give it a go hey all right here we go flip and drag so flip and then over So where the white has been pulled over the top of those other colours, that's looking really pretty. Got no white here, but uh, that's okay. I'll probably just tip some of that off maybe. I'll just let it do its thing. See what it wants to do. Uh, I will be stretching this out, so hopefully I can get rid of this, this corner here. And I should have enough pillow underneath to, to stretch it all. Um, I guess because I flipped my cup over onto white, my colours are all muted because they've been mixed with the white underneath. So that's something to be aware of, I guess. Still got some paint in the bottom. <laughs> I should have sprayed my little flip cup with some silicone spray, shouldn't I? Right, right, let's get that out of the way so I don't drip all over it. Um, let's go up to this corner here first, hey? Don't know that I'll go all the way over just yet because I want to make sure I've got enough paint. Okay, so now the problem I'm having is because I put the cell activator on the bottom and then flipped on top of that it's really quite liquidy look at that I probably should have just put the cell activator around the top yeah next time see how it's all moving really fast and um, going out of shape but live and learn that's okay I've, I've learned something I won't do that again I'll just put the cell activator. See how it's all going wobbly? That's because it's too thin. I wanted to see what it would do. All right, so I'm going to scrape this because we can see that it's just all running away I don't have any more um, green oh all pink oh, all right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use what I've got just 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 for the sake of trying this all right let's pop the white pillow paint down Spread it out. Whoops. Got a little bit of. Oh no, I better not use that in there. It's probably all muddy now, isn't it? Alright. There's a new little cup. bit of cell activator in the bottom as I did what have I got left I might have to actually have to stop and make up some more paint because I don't have very much at all radio I've made up some more paint uh, so that's just the cell activator and some purple and let's do some orange <laughs> it's kind of an orangey reddish color I'll put a little bit more paint in this time see if I can fill up my little cup and let's go with the green next I 
I'm going to use up all this paint. And this is from the old batch. The new one, I just mixed up 10 grams of pouring medium and 10 grams of, uh, sorry, 10 grams of pouring medium and 5 grams of paint. So not a, not a lot. I'm making a mess, that's for sure. <laughs> and yellow. So that's a whole cup there. So this is bigger than the little medicine cup. The medicine cup holds 30 mils or one ounce. This is a little bit bigger. It might hold um, 40 or 50, I guess. I haven't actually measured it. Right, now I'm not going to put down the, the activator on the bottom because that's what gave me the trouble last time. So shut the door. Okay, so I think that's, yeah, that's what gave me the trouble last time because um, this was sliding on that thin cell activator that I put down. So give it a bit of a shake. So this one's got the, as I said, the Amsterdam white, the Liquitex ink, uh, Floetrol and some glue. Um, I don't know where that recipe actually came from, the one with the glue. Like there's a few people using it, but I don't know who started it. So yeah, not sure. <laughs> but we'll see if this works. Right, now I'm going to just put it there. And hopefully that will be enough. So I'm going to bring the cup up and then over the top. And hopefully that will come over the top of the little paints. Ready? Oops, I was scraping the bottom of the tile. I could feel it scraping. Oh dear. Okay, now let's just let that sit for a little bit. I am going to pop some bubbles gently. No, I can't pop them. I don't want to get close enough to pop them. So we're starting here with some orange. We've got some pink, going around to the green. So that's the, the cell activator kind of came over the top. When I pushed it like that and then dragged it down, the cell activator came over the top of those colors. So that's what's giving us that lacing effect. I'll just let that sit for a minute. Where's my little bamboo skewer? Hmm. There it is. Might as well pop a few bubbles while I'm waiting. Because I can't really pop them with the torch. Where else? There's a few. So I only just mixed up this paint, you see, so it's a bit, a bit bubbly. Now where the tail is, I'll I'll tip that off. So let's go there first, hey? Let's we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll move a bit better this time because I didn't put the cell activator underneath. So I'll tip some of that, tip that corner off that I don't like. Okay. Now I know that there's still some cell activator just here, so I might actually have to just move it off because I don't want it making everything else really thin like it did last time. And I'll stop there. I don't mind having a little bit of white on the edges. I'm gonna bring it back to the middle. I'm not really liking this bit of orange here, but I'm gonna go off to that corner down there first. And then I may, not sure if I can get back to that side. Oh, look, it's going anyway as I'm going this way. That bit of orange is going. Okay, so that's gone. So it's moving much better this time, isn't it? Much better. I guess that was silly of me putting down the cell activator. 
it was just too thin. All right, let's go off for that bottom corner then. Might leave just a little tinsy bit of white. <laughs> Look, I've got a white center. Oh, that's because I did a U shape with my cup, hey? So it's it sure is different. Um, it's you know it's not as nice as a, a normal flip cup, but I just wanted to see what this recipe could do. I'm just going to try and get that blue blob off, and a little bit of this corner as well. All right, hang on to the corners. Come back into the middle just a touch and then we will be done if that's all right wipe off the paint from the bottom um yeah not too bad i guess for a first attempt at a push and pull but uh, yeah certainly not as good as what you would get with a normal flip cup for oh, hey but it's different this is just all lacing so take my gloves off um, so I guess I've got two videos to put up now <laughs> look at the lacing it's pretty yeah that's that's just the um, the pillow in there so there's there's nothing i can really do about that it's just going to have to be a little bit of a, a feature i guess but um let me take you down i'll zoom in first and then i'll take you down for a close-up whoops so lots of lacing um i'm just wondering see i've got blocks of color I'm just wondering if I should have done two layers in my little flip cup like I normally do. Hmm. Maybe. All right. I shall try that again one more time um, and see what two layers will do. I think I had the right amount of paint. And maybe I'll just try and push and pull straight down rather than go back up again so yeah all right so that was interesting that was I don't know that was fun it was stressful um, I'll have one more go at it while I've got these paints out and see if I can improve it um, and then I'm gonna go back to some flip cups and things all right I'll see you soon bye for now